Welcome back to RG Geek. Today I want to show you how Daijisho completely revolutionized and updated my Odin experience. So you see I've installed it here, I've got the platforms listed here. And what's a bit confusing is you've got these three rows of items. You've got the tab rows at the top, which are different um, views you can have. And then you come down here, which is the settings within a platform. So library, random, sync, etc. And then you've got your platforms at the very bottom. Now that could scroll as well. This is all touch screen enabled as well. You can see here. And it's just brilliant setup and it makes you you forget you're using Android and it's just a handheld gaming console. So you can go in, you can look at the let's look at the library here. All this just downloaded automatically. I could go in and fix these up. I'll, I'll do that later. Uh, you don't only have this grid view, you also have list view. There we are. So it's really whatever you want it to be. And I was first annoyed because I wanted to have a list view with um, my favorites, but you can just hit favorite here. Oh, I thought that worked. If <laughs> you have to go back, hit favorite here. And there you go. Um, so there you have all your favorites. So you can basically choose when you want to play a game by the platform, you can say, I want to see the entire library that I have on the device, or I want to just see my favorites, or even just my uh, recent games. I'm not surprised it back is going to the widgets tab all the time, but that's, I think there's a setting to change that as well. So here you can have all kinds of widgets. So you can see here is continue, the last game I played. I could play Rocket League Sideswipe, I could go straight into my Xbox Remote Play Stadia, for example. So like everything that you would typically like just want to get into fast, I play OutRun a lot, the Saturn and Genesis version. So you just have it set up and you can even just like random for my favorite items. I don't want to pick, I just want to, <laughs> OutRun came up, nice. Let's pick another random one, Ms. Pac-Man, that's a classic. So you can set up these widgets like here, all these widgets here, to just do whatever you want to do basically. It's really cool. And I love this just completely replaces the Android UI, so I don't even see Android anymore. So I just go and find whatever platform game I want to play, and I play that. Or I go here to my favorites, basically, my apps I want to run. Or I go to highlight, would be like all my favorites across platforms. So there's 7800, let's see, Game Boy favorites, Genesis, yeah, I'll run, of course. <laughs> I haven't set all my favorites up yet, but I'm just excited to have this system. It's just so nice. Oh, this is recent. Oh, my bad. That's why there's so few. Okay, yeah, those. So Super Nintendo right there. And you just go whatever you want to do, or you could go even all your favorites across all platforms, just like that. Uh, apps. So you can see this is only games. Oh, I already see this is mis misplaced. I can say flag Steam Link is not game. And now it will no longer show my games list. So this is a, a view of just my game, my Android games on my uh, Odin. Or I can hit that and I can see all my apps, which is really nice. And what I love too is you've got your settings. You can go straight into your system settings here. I mean, I could also go into it from the top there. The basic idea is you can do Anything you want on here, you don't, you don't ever need to see Android again. You just set this as your um, home launcher and you're good to go. So I've been incredibly impressed by this thing. I initially wanted to have a list view set up so that it would um, show my favorites on top, but then I realized, you know, if I just want my favorites, I just go over to favorite here. Boom, there are my favorites. So I've been very happy with this. It's very snappy, loads quickly. The launch box takes quite a while. There, I still have Launchbox here. Let's see how long it takes to load. Here we go, loading data. <sighs> this is real time, guys. So it took that long just to get into selecting my games. I want to get to my favorites. I have to go all the way to the right, to all games, and then I can get to my favorites. Now that took a while as well. It's just not very snappy. I'm not happy in here at home. Another thing I love here, Say I'm playing a game. Let's do my, I don't know why this favorites isn't working. It should be working. Uh, let's go here. Um, let's just pick the Ninja Turtles here. 
Now, if you know, you've got a lot of different systems. Oh, that's loud, sorry. All right, so you've got all these different systems and uh, they all have different ways to exit. Now you just hit home and you go straight back into here and everything is set up for you. This Launchbox, I didn't feel as a full, complete OS. Like I didn't get to all my Android apps, just my games. But here I really have access to everything. So just want to say I'm super happy with this and I'll be curious to see if you're putting Daijisho on your Android handheld. If you like this, please give me a like, subscribe, share it with your friends who also have Android handhelds, and I'll see you on the next episode.